This is a bright orange Bentayga with carpets that look like they've just killed Garfield and stuck it under your feet. It is the orangest, fluffiest, comfiest carpet I've ever seen in a car. Yes, welcome back to the 675 LT. Just saying those words, I can tell I've been away a long time. So I've just got back from Hong Kong. Guys who've been following my channel for at least the last week will know that you know out there the supercar scene has been fantastic. And I just want to say one more massive thank you to everyone who helped me arrange all of the meet and greets out there. It was amazing. But despite the weather here being terrible, it is good to be back and back in my own car. Anyway, I'm only here for a few more days. And that's exactly what has triggered the topic of this video. So I do my very best to read as many comments as I can, both on my Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. And there's a reoccurring theme which I agree with that where's the F12, where's the GT3, even where's the 675 LT? And I thought, let's just look back and see when was the last time that I filmed with my cars. Since Christmas, I think I've filmed with my own cars two, maybe three times. Since Christmas, I was sat there thinking, what am I doing, man? There's some amazing cars parked up back home, but the way that YouTube has taken over, consumed my time, consumed my life, I'm not complaining, it's absolutely fantastic. Everything is going beyond my wildest dreams. But as a result, I find myself spending more time driving other people's cars. Um, and I just thought, this is getting mad. I, I need to address this and either drive my own stuff more or potentially make some garage adjustments. So yes, the video today is, I kind of want to hear your thoughts and discussions in the comments below as to what you think would be an interesting thing to do with those cars. And also, there's a lot of money tied up in these cars which are just parked up in my garage. Now, there's also been some trigger points to this mindset. During Geneva, Porsche launched a new GT3, Ferrari launched the uh, 812 Superfast, which is the successor to the F12, and both of these moves aren't going to do any favours for the value of my two cars. And so what I'm thinking right now is, judging by the way my year is panned out and the fact that I also have the new McLaren 720S coming soon, the chances are these cars are still going to be parked up, going down in, in value and just not getting the use that they deserve. So I need to make a choice in the next few months or few weeks if these cars need to go. And I want to hear your thoughts. But also we've got Top Marks coming up soon as well. Top Marks Monaco. Last year I took the GT3 and the F12. I don't want to do the same thing again. This is my newest car. And I joke that I've had the best driving experiences have always been in other people's cars. And I want to I want to cancel that. I want it to be in my own car. So the 675 LT is the car that I'm going to be taking down to Top Marks. Monaco in just two weeks time and then after that there's going to be a further road trip which is going to extend that trip another 10 days so that's another period another whole month where the other cars won't be driven and I'm going to be making the most of this car which right now is my favorite car um, so yeah things are changing and I think with 720s coming it's probably time to get out of the f12 and gt3 but let me know what your thoughts are. Anyway, in keeping with that theme, road trip is coming up and once again I'm away so often that the LT uh, needs its service. So I'm now taking this over to McLaren and then I'm basically going to get prepped for the trips ahead. Let's hit it. Just arrived at Bentley Manchester. Dropped off the LT for its service. Got a big two week road trip coming up ahead. 
But this Bentayga is the first thing that caught my eye when I walked in here. There's some stunning cars, but this is a bright orange Bentayga with carpets that look like they've just killed Garfield and stuck it under your feet. It is the orangest, fluffiest, comfiest carpet I've ever seen in a car. It's amazing how much an interior will change the whole feel of a car. I didn't think, well, basically tan on orange or orange on orange would go so well, but the interior on this is beautiful. Look at it. Very special environment. Now, I'm kicking myself because I did actually once drive a Ventega around Monaco and I never filmed it. So I've never actually had the opportunity to share with you guys my experiences of a Bentayga, but you'll just have to take it from me. From the short time that I had driving it, I was absolutely blown away. Aesthetically, I'm just not sold. But to drive and when you're inside it, you actually forget those things. And it's such an incredible car. It, it goes like hell. It goes so fast. There's a massive amount of torque and they've taken plush to a whole new level. It is a beautiful environment in which to sit, but I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get hold of a Bentayga soon. And I'd love to do like a short road trip in it to find out what they're really all about when you're using it for more than one hour. Just before we go, check out the Mulliner accessories in the back of this bad boy. Champagne sweet, cutlery, cups and saucers, everything that your fine English gent would require in the back of his steed. time because we're going in a direction that I don't believe any other YouTuber or at least automotive YouTuber has taken things so far and I think we all have new cars yeah Paul's just picked up his Lambo Seb's just got his Lotus congratulations Seb the car looks fantastic and I can't wait to see in person and of course Sam has also recently just got hold of his 540c so we're all going to be hitting the fantastic roads in new cars okay the lt for me isn't technically new however i haven't even taken it out of the uk yet so i'm, I'm just super excited to get that car back onto some proper tires because it's currently running pirelli soto zeros which have been great in winter but as soon as we get on the continent up in those twisty mountains in the sunshine to have the trofeo ours back on is going to be sublime anyway guys i know this video is short and sweet but i just wanted to take this time to do a little recap before it all kicks off again so tomorrow i'm heading to italy for a very cool project which will be unveiled really soon and then after then it's all gonna kick off of basically gearing up for the storm ahead as always guys thanks for watching see you next time ciao oh.